Hey everyone, I've had a couple of people ask me about the process that I'm taking for my submissions for Character Quest, and I thought I would just take a moment to use the design that I created today. Um, it's day 12 for Merfolk, and I just want to walk through the process that I took from coming up with the idea to sketching it out to making the final design in Procreate on the iPad. It's a pretty straightforward process that I'm following. Um, and it does change a bit from character to character, but either way, I hope this gives you a sense of what I'm doing for my character quest, and it helps you with your character design. So this right here is the design that I made, and what I started out by doing was just to come up with the concept. Um, the theme was merfolk. I thought, hey, what would be an interesting take on that? Maybe um, I can just pick a certain fish and create something themed around that fish. After a while, I came up with the koi fish, um, realized I could do something really interesting with a samurai koi, and from there, I went straight to finding reference images. So here you can see I just went on Pinterest, I pulled up images of samurai, and I pulled up images of koi fish. And really, I just started to draw them. So I tried a couple different angles, I tried to get a sense of the different shapes that made up the fish. Um, and I was really trying to think of personality, like those big lips um, made him seem kind of like he was pouting or maybe he was a little angry. Um, so I kind of played with that a bit. I was also looking at a lot of the different uh, designs that are on koi fish. There's a lot of interesting patterns. And one of them was this big spot right on the forehead um, that was totally just like Japan, just like the flag. So I decided that that would be what I wanted to use for my character. Once I drew enough koi, I jumped over to uh, the other half of my design, which was samurai. So I knew that I really just wanted to put a koi head on a samurai body. And so what I was really looking for here was the armor, what's the design of that, as well as the pose. Like what is a pose that I want him to have? So when I was looking through all of the references that, like I said, I pulled from Pinterest, I was looking for an image that would really capture both those things. And so here you can see all I really did was draw a lot of the basic shapes to try and capture this pose. Um, I wasn't worried too much about detail, I wasn't too much about getting it right either. I just wanted the stance to look correct, and I wanted to learn myself um, what the different plates of armor, like where they were, what they looked like. And then, once I had drawn both the fish and the samurai, it was time to put it together. Um, so since I had spent all that time drawing both those things, it was really fresh in my memory and I was able to draw it without leaning on the reference too much, and that gave me some room to kind of play a bit with it. So I was able to make the legs thicker, the armor thicker in certain spots, um, as well as play on the, the koi head to give it more character than just a normal fish. Now this next step I took is I thought that I wanted him to be a lot more squat looking, uh, shorter and rounder. So rather than redraw the whole character, I just transformed it in Procreate, just like you would Photoshop. Uh, I took the image, I squashed it down, and that would be the basis for my next drawing. So now we're going to start to see some of the time lapse of when I was drawing in Procreate. And I'd like to mention at this point that this is now my third time uh, drawing this suit of armor. So something that a lot of people might not realize is when I'm doing my designs, I like to draw a lot of different versions before I actually do the final. Um, this drawing, in fact, isn't the final either. Um, I find that the more times you draw something, the better it ends up being. So if you're not happy with the design, sometimes it's great just to do a second version of it or a third or a fourth. You'll notice in this drawing, I'm just making a couple subtle changes to the design, as well as I'm also making sure that every line is certain and in place. That way when I'm doing the final line drawing, there's no more guesswork, I just gotta follow my underlying sketch. Speaking of the final line drawing, you're gonna see me jump into that now. And really, I'm just tracing what I've done before, just making sure everything is nice and clean. And before I forget to mention it, the only thing I'm using throughout this whole piece is the HB pencil. It's like one of the default brushes that comes in Procreate. Once I've added in all of the line work, you're now going to see me starting to add a bit of shadow in different parts. And now the final step is going to be to add color. And so usually what I do is I just create all of the different layers with the different color blocks, and then I worry about getting the colors right. Um, I find that once I'm able to block everything out, I can use the different effect controls inside of Procreate um, just to 
shift the hue a bit or make something more saturated and just play a lot with the different layers um, until I get a color combination that I like. And the very last step you're going to see me take is I'm just going to take the black pencil stroke and just shift it to a dark red. This is just something I like to do. And there you have it. There's the entire process I followed for making this character quest character design. The main things about this process that I think deserve some mentioning is that you can redraw your character as many times as you need to until you get it looking the way that you want. It's really easy to see work that people post and think that that's their, their first go of it, but a lot of the time it takes several drawings before you get a good looking one. Um, also use reference. It's really, really helpful, especially for getting down poses. Um, clothing is something that I personally struggle with, so looking at that samurai suit of armor was really helpful for me in knowing how to dress a samurai. Um, and also use the transform tools like to make your designs really skinny or really uh, squat and just you can even use like the lasso in Procreate or um, Photoshop to take certain sections and stretch it or shrink it. It's a, it's a fun and quick way of experimenting with uh, the proportions of your design. If at any point throughout this video you've wondered what on earth is Character Quest, um, it is a 30-day challenge that you can sign up on happyfacesoneverything.com. Uh, it's totally free. You sign up and you'll get an email every day for 30 days with a, uh, a theme, a little bit of backstory, as well as some challenges and uh, links. It's a, it's a great way just to get better at character design and to build out a portfolio if that's something that you're interested in getting work for. Um, so go ahead and check it out, and I hope you liked this process. I hope it answers some questions for you. Take care.